At the end of the Cold War, the French Air Force and the Navy needed a new generation fighter to replace their super attendered combat aircraft, in addition to the Jaguar, Mirage F-1, and Crusader. At that time, both forces used various types of aircraft, but due to the need to reduce costs, they decided to use the same aircraft, the Rafale, to replace all of them. In 1979, French aircraft manufacturer Dassault Aviation was selected to participate in the European Combat Aircraft Project. Then why did France withdraw from this project? After that, we will discuss the start of the Rafale program, its capabilities and variants, the characteristics of the Spectra system, and its weapons, and FSO. So let's dive in, and you are watching Defense 360. French Dassault joined the European Combat Aircraft Project in 1979. However, the project collapsed in 1981 because the operational requirements of partner countries were different. Then, in 1983, France, West Germany, Spain, Italy, and Britain initiated the future European Fighter Aircraft Project. France secretly worked on its carrier-based multirole aircraft for the Navy, but due to the lack of such a need in other countries in 1985, France withdrew from the project. However, other countries continued to work on the project, which we later saw in the form of the Eurofighter Typhoon. After abandoning the future European fighter aircraft project, France decided to work on developing a national fighter jet based on the requirements of French Navy. In 1984, before leaving the Eurofighter Typhoon program, the French company Dassault was selected for the development of a locally designed based experimental combat aircraft, the ACX, later renamed as Rafale A. Therefore, before leaving the EF-2000 program, France began work on the Rafale A prototype for the ACX program. The first prototype of the Rafale A conducted its first flight on July 4, 1986. During this flight, the prototype aircraft was powered by General Electric's F-400 and four GE-400 turbofan engines, as the Snecma M-88 turbofan engine was still under development at that time. Rafale A conducted its first flight with M-88 engines on February 17, 1990. After the completion of the compliance tests of this engine in December 1992, orders were placed for the production of the M88 engine. Before this, the French government had ordered four Rafale prototypes from Dassault on April 21, 1988. This order included one Rafale Sea Fighter, one Rafale B Twin C variant for the Air Force, and two Rafale M variants for the Navy. The Rafale C prototype conducted its first flight on May 19, 1991, while the Rafale M prototype conducted its first flight on December 11, 1991. The prototype of the Rafale B variant, the two-seat variant, conducted its first flight on April 30, 1993. Due to the lack of a land-based catapult facility in France, the Rafale M aircraft was sent to test centers in the U.S. states of New Jersey and Maryland from July 8 to August 31, 1992. Several compatibility tests were conducted with different ship-suitable types of aircraft, including the 13 catapult launch test and the 69 arrested landing tests. After various tests, the Rafale M achieved initial operational capability in 1997. Initially, 250 aircraft were planned to be produced for France, but due to budget cuts, 180 aircraft were produced. Among them 
were 63 Rafale B for the Air Force, 69 Rafale C, and 48 Rafale M for the Navy. Despite being better than its competitors in terms of capabilities, this aircraft did not have any particular export. For the first decade, it did not receive any export order. Now, after briefly discussing the development, manufacturing, and production process of the Rafale aircraft, we now discuss the design and capabilities of this aircraft. The Rafale is a twin-engine canard delta-wing multi-role high power to weight ratio fighter aircraft. Its design gives it the ability to fly at high angles of attack without loosening its agility. Its air intakes are specially designed to reduce the radar cross-section of the Rafale. In addition, extensive composite materials have been used in the production process, while the canopy is covered with special materials. The ejection seat, similar to F-16, is tilted 29 degrees backward to increase chew resistance by reducing the height difference between the pilot's heart and brain. Like the F-16, the Rafale also has a fly-by-wire side stick controller. The hands-on throttle and stick system are located on the left side of the cockpit. Great emphasis given to the design of the Rafale cockpit. In order to reduce the workload of the pilot during the flight, the highly digitized cockpit is equipped with integrated DVI, direct voice input. Thanks to DVI, the pilot can access many controls and handle a variety of functions with voice commands. Used of this DVI in Rafale cockpit, it handles radio communication, countermeasures, weapons, radar mode selection, and navigational functions. The cockpit has a wide-angle heads-up display or HUD, while slightly below this heads-up display is the head-level display or HLD. The pilot can view these two screens by moving his eyes instead of tilting his head. Apart from this, the pilot can control all the systems of the aircraft and see the information of the sensors with the help of two multifunctional displays. Most important among these sensors is its RBE-2 AA radar. Let's talk about this radar in detail. RBE-2 AA, an active electronically scanned array radar, currently used in Rafale fighter jets. The current radar is actually based on the RBE-2, which received initial operational capability in 2002 on the carrier-based Rafale M aircraft. However, the use of the RBE-2 AA radar for the French Air Force, Navy, and export customers was started in 2012. The base variant of this radar was the RBE-2 Passive Electronically Scanned Array Radar. However, the RBE-2 AA radar is an active electronically scanned array radar that uses 838 transmit receive modules. This radar can scan an area up to 140 degrees and has a range of 200 kilometers. Thanks to its high output power and long range, this radar gives the Rafale the ability to use long range air to air missiles, such as the Meteor. Instead of mechanically rotating the antenna, the TR modules on the radar operate independently of each other because the TR modules on the radar array receive instructions electronically. This is why the radar can operate in more than one mode at a time. Hence, this Rafale radar can generate terrain profile for low altitude maneuvered flight while tracking air targets, while generating high resolution maps for navigation and targeting. Another feature of the RBE-2 AA radar is its ability to integrate with the aircraft's internal electronic warfare system Spectra, self-protection equipment to counter threats for aircraft, known as Spectra. Let's now learn about the Spectra. The Spectra gives the Rafale exceptional protection against the land and air threats. Spectra is fully integrated with other onboard systems and provides the aircraft with multispectral threat warning against enemy radars missiles, and lasers. Spectra detects and identifies long-range threats. This helps the pilot to deal with these threats in a timely manner. Spectra can also precisely locate the angular position of enemy elements with the help of its sensors. Let me explain it for your understanding. This feature is important on the basis of two aspects, 
the first, it can passively detect and identify enemy threats from long distances when the aircraft's active sensors, such as radar, are turned off. This capability reduces the possibility of Rafale being detected by the enemy sensors. The second advantage is that it offers the pilot a completely passive situational awareness capability. This sensor provides an operational advantage by maintaining the aircraft's tactical status and accurately identifying threats to the crew. Spectra's powerful electronic receivers not only make it a radar warning receiver, but also provide electronic support mission capability to the aircraft involved. On the basis of signal strength, Spectra can detect enemy sensors with one degree of accuracy at a distance of 250 kilometers. Spectra gives the Rafale an electronic intelligence or signal intelligence capability without carrying an additional pod. It should be noted that the Rafale also carries three AESA antennas, one of which is present on tail and two on the canard routes. It can jam detected signals with 120 degree coverage. Spectra has highly effective jamming capability thanks to its digital radio frequency memory feature. In addition, the system also carries two IR missile warning receivers on the tail of the aircraft, whose function is to detect incoming missiles. This system also has an onboard laser warning system. The weapon system creates a threat record by combining data from various onboard sensors, which can be seen in the cockpit and can be used to target enemy threats and suppression of enemy air defense missions. The signals and data from all sensors are compared with the onboard threat library, and the central computer automatically activates appropriate countermeasures based on this comparison. To jam and deceive hostile radar frequencies, the system sends jamming signals through active phased array antennas. Thanks to this advanced technology, jamming signals are concentrated in the sector where they are needed most. These capabilities increases the effectiveness of jamming and reduces the possibility of being detected by enemy sensors. The Front Sector Optronics System, FSSO, is fully integrated with the aircraft. The system enables the Rafale to passively detect and identify air, sea, and ground targets at long range and measure the distance to these targets using high-resolution angular tracking and lasers. The FSSO emits no radiation of any kind and is completely resistant to electronic jamming. Being fully integrated with the aircraft's navigation and weapon systems, it provides tactical information and target engagement capabilities. The FSO consists of two optronics, one IRST, infrared search and track, and the other TV laser rangefinder. Its IRST can identify and track air targets at a distance of more than 100 kilometers. The Rafale fighter jet has 14 hard points. However, the hard points on the Rafale M are 13. Heavy payloads and fuel tanks can be carried at five of the Rafale's hard points. Its external payload capacity is more than 9,000 pounds or 9,000 kilograms. The initial Rafale M aircraft were of the F-1 or France 1 standard, equipped only for air-to-air -air interceptor missions. The F-1 could not carry any type of armament for air-to-ground missions. F-1 standard was operationalized in 2004. The aircraft delivered subsequently, which were of the F-2 standard, were enhanced with the capability to conduct air-to-ground missions. Deliveries of F-2 standard Rafale M aircraft to the French Navy took place in May 2006. Rafale aircraft delivered onward since 2008 were of nuclear-capable F-3 standard. Apart from this, the earlier F-1 and F-2 standard aircraft were later upgraded to F-3 standard. With the F-3 standard, the Rafale became a fully multi-role aircraft. Dassault describes it as omni-role fighter jet. Today, all the aircraft have been upgraded to Rafale F-3R standard. This adds capabilities such as the ASMPA nuclear-capable air launch cruise missile and Thales Rico NG aerial reconnaissance pod and Exostat anti-ship cruise missile. In addition, 
subsystems upgrades and software to the F3R standard were also included to ensure the interoperability of its onboard sensors. This upgrade added a better and different advanced human-machine interface than the previous standard. Rafale F3R standard type evolution has further strengthened the versatility of this aircraft. Automatic ground collision avoidance system is also being provided in Rafale aircraft. Thanks to this system, it is possible to save both the pilot and the aircraft if the pilot loses situational awareness or due to spatial disorientation. This system is also being used on Rafale's competitor F-16 Block 70. If we look at the munitions, missiles, and payloads of the Rafale used by the French Air Force and Navy, we can better understand its capabilities, which prove its versatility. MBDA Meteor Beyond Visual Range Air-to-Air -air Missile Guided by Advanced Active Radar Seeker This missile is Rafale's leading air-to-air -air missile. Meteor can also intercept small unmanned aerial vehicles and cruise missiles. Thanks to Rafale's active electronically scanned array radar, this high-performance missile can be used at its maximum potential. RBE to double a radar and passive sensors, Rafale can detect enemy aerial elements and target them by staying 100 kilometers away from them. The current F3R standard version of the Rafale is capable of extended range strikes, avoiding enemy air defenses or air elements. The Rafale can be equipped with Magic 2 missile in the short range category and MICA air to air missile in the medium category. MICA both IR and active radar guided versions are included in Rafale's air to air weapon package. The maximum range of the Magic 2 is 16 kilometers. The infrared homing version of the MICA missile has a maximum range of 60 kilometers, and the radar homing variant has a range of 80 kilometers. Both versions of MICA also feature mid-course update feature via data link. The Rafale can be equipped with Safran Laser Guided Air-to-Ground Munition AASM. There are three variants of this missile. One SBU-38 GPS guided, second SBU-54 laser guided, and third SBU-64 infrared guided. Apart from GPS guidance, this missile is also capable of precisely engaging moving targets, thanks to laser guidance and infrared guidance kit. It should be noted that this weapon is also commonly known as Hammer, highly agile, modular ammunition extended range. The range of this air-to-ground ammunition is said to be more than 70 kilometers. Other air-to-ground munitions include the 500-pound GBU-12 Paveway 2, the 2,000-pound GBU-24 Paveway 3. Talking about cruise missiles, the Rafale includes Scalp EG cruise missile with a range of 560 kilometers and AM-39 Exocet anti-ship cruise missile in anti-ship role. Rafale's most lethal air-to-ground ammunition is its ASMPA, an air-launch nuclear-capable cruise missile. On January 14, 2019, a contract was awarded by the French government to upgrade the existing Rafale aircraft to the F-4 standard at a cost of 2 billion euros. Improved radar on Rafale F-4, new helmet-mounted targeting system, and new control system for Safran M88 engine. Integration of new version of nuclear-capable cruise missile, new Scout cruise missile, and MICA NG missile and integrate a new generation of the 1,000 kg precision-guided hammer missile is noteworthy. F-4 standard will be operational from 2024 onward, and some components of F-4 standard will be used only in 2022. It should be noted that the United Arab Emirates has ordered the same F-4 standard of Rafale for its air force from France. The thrust of the Rafale engine is said to be 75 kilonewtons. While for the new version, probably its advanced variant is also being worked on. The Rafale is considered to be the most successful fourth generation combat aircraft due to its advanced radar and electronic warfare and self-protection systems. 
as well as greater combat readiness and advanced weapons. Even then, this aircraft did not get any substantial export response in the beginning. However, in the last few years, it has been ordered in large numbers by various countries. Egypt first expressed interest in November 2014 and early next year. Egypt signed a contract for 24 aircraft, followed by an order of 36 aircraft from Qatar and 36 from India. 18 Rafales were ordered by Greece in August 2020, in which six of them were used and remaining were newly built. Then six more Rafale aircraft were ordered by Greece on September 11, 2021. In May 2021, Egypt ordered another 30 Rafale aircraft from France, which will be of the F-3R standard. Then, Croatia signed a deal for 12 second-hand Rafale F-3R aircraft on November 25, 2021. On December 3, 2021, the United Arab Emirates signed a contract for eight F-4 standard Rafale jets. While Indonesia has become the latest customer to buy Rafale. If you want to watch our videos on evolution in Chinese J-10 fighter aircraft, you will find the link in the description or on end screen. Thank you for watching this video on the evolution of the Rafale fighter jet. From its initial design to its advanced capabilities, the Rafale has proven to be a highly capable and versatile aircraft. Its cutting-edge technology, including advanced avionics and highly accurate weaponry, make it a formidable force in the skies. We hope you enjoyed learning about the history and capabilities of this incredible aircraft. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more informative videos like this one.